Hello everyone, my name is uh, Pastor Regan Okila. Uh, I'm married uh, to this beautiful lady uh, by the name Esther and uh, I pastor a church at uh, Kamulu and uh, the Lord has blessed us uh, with two kids, uh, Joyan Okila and uh, Jaden Nganga Okila. Uh, apart from uh, pastoring, uh, we are also in business, uh, we are doing farming, at least uh, to keep our life going. And uh, I'd like to introduce uh, maybe my wife to say something, mm. and then uh, I think you'll know her better. Welcome, thank dear. you, thank mm. you. Mm -hmm. um, Pastor Esther Regan, he's my husband. We are in, we pastor a church called Christ Followers Ministry, Kamulu, and God has blessed us with two kids, as he, he has said. One is called Joyan Okila, and the other one, Jaden Nganga. And uh, we are happy to, to be together. Let me say that. And this far we are saying it's, it is God. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we've, uh, we met uh, a church uh, where we, we started uh, the, I believe, uh, how we were mentored by our spiritual authority. It was at uh, Embakasi uh, in the year 2004. Uh, I came there as a, just a, an ordinary member. And then after the service, I saw this uh, lovely girl but during that time, uh, Singeweza kumuambia that, uh, okay, nimekunoki. Because <laughs> uh, ideally it was the first service. But when I saw her, okay, there is something which sparked in me. But because now uh, the, the dad uh, happened to be now the bishop, you know, the first day you cannot uh, show <laughs> that. <laughs> You love the bishop's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, in Lichezachini, mm -hmm. until now, the right time, uh, Ambayo, I proposed, and then to Kaweza now, Kwinge into marriage. I believe she can add more, because yeah. uh, she knows uh, maybe some things I haven't touched. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, me, okay, when I first saw him, I didn't, I, I didn't, nothing really moved me at that time. Mm -hmm. But I love the way he used to serve God genuinely. Mm -hmm. that, that what, that's what attracted me so much to him. Mm -hmm. Because he used to serve God genuinely and he had that heart that he just draws you to him. Uh, let me say, when I, we first saw each other, I just love the zeal of God in him. How he used to serve. He used to serve together in the youth ministry and again in praise and worship. So. He started, now four years later, just imagine we met in 2004. Mm -hmm. Now four years later in 2008, he started calling me, he yeah? started calling me. Mm -hmm. And uh, by that time I had released my first album and he called me and asked me, ah, by the way, you sang so well. This is one year later. So I wondered, I was telling my cousin, this guy is calling me that, to tell me that I've sang so well, that he mm. wants my CD mm. after like, uh, mm. One year mm. later, I knew uh, the yeah, something Yeah, you knew the starting point of mystery. Because I didn't know how to, <laughs> like, say, nakupenda. <laughs> so, I didn't know how to say, hey, umeimba vizuri. Yeah. So, at least, I didn't Something else that moved me, he, mm. pack, he, he sent a package home. And when my, my dad said, hey, this, this has been sent by, uh, by a certain guy called Regan, mm -hmm. I was like, hey, what's happening? Then he was calling me oftenly, oftenly. Mm -hmm. So when he, he was calling me, slowly by slowly he won my heart. Because that voice, <laughs> that voice really moved me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to love to hear that voice. Every time he called me, I'll feel, I'll, I'll feel good. So I just started praying and asking, because that, that time I was praying, uh, God to give me the right, the right person. Because mm -hmm. you can enter into marriage with the wrong person and you're doomed, you're doomed. But, I just started praying and at there's a time I remember we were serving in praise and worship in church and God opened my eyes and told me that is your husband mm -hmm. and I just looked at him and I was so moved <laughs> yeah so moved spiritually because I, I felt like really we are really connecting mm -hmm. we used to serve and people used to get blessed 
So that's that's number one. That's mm -hmm. what really the the zeal of God and the passion the way he used to serve in church mm -hmm. it really moved me and it really attracted me to him. Mm -hmm. Something else he had cubes. Eh? <laughs> yeah, but now <laughs> after doing a lot of cooking <laughs> instead of cubes it's now <laughs> I don't know. Let me call it <laughs> Is it a pot? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I loved by the Likwanava Shati no no I was mm. like, hey, mm -hmm. anyway, mm. <laughs> this guy is from mm. yeah, yeah, he's something else and mm. I really loved how how he his physique, let me say. Yeah. yeah. So I remember there's a time we were praying and fasting. He was praying and fasting, I was praying and fasting. Mm. We did not know. Mm. But when we we there was a prayer request. God was uh, the, our bishop was sharing about uh, I think if you if there's something that you really want God to do, mm -hmm. just come in front. Mm -hmm. So I went in front and he went in front and we looked at each other. Mm. And Funny enough, what I was praying for, he was also praying for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that time he hadn't proposed, but I was saying, God, mm -hmm. if really this is the man you meant for me, mm -hmm. let him just do something. Mm -hmm. Let let your will be done and let him just do something. Him do something. Mm -hmm. So that weekend, I remember after the Fikesha, I, wa I, I was traveling to Nakuru. Mm -hmm. So that's when he got the guts to call me when I'm in Nakuru, away from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Yes, you remember that thing? Yeah, I remember because. Uh, uh, sometimes space nikitumzuri when uh, she traveled uh, nikapata psych yeah, at least kumpigia simu na kumwambia cuz uh, i didn't gather i didn't have the strength kama angekuwa karibu eh ninge sweat <laughs> and uh, maybe to add on what she has said uh, before now nipate that strength of uh, now uh, telling her that i love you nataka uko my wife uh, god had given me a vision uh, some, uh, I think it was uh, maybe 2005 there, uh, 2005, 2006, Mungu alikuwa menimletea that vision. Uh, I was sleeping and then I saw uh, Ninenda Church and then uh, she told me, eh, hey, umesauki hatu wapo javaki hatu moja. So I was asking God, okay, what is the meaning of that dream? Ndiyo badai Mungu wakani rivilia kwamba, uh, huyu atakuwa wefi yako na pia atakusaidia kwa ministry. So I didn't believe that in a way uh, Those days, he uh, had a job poor. So she used to earn a lot of money. So I had a job poor. I mean, I had a job hustler. So I had a job poor. I had a job poor. I had a job poor. So when I was in the house, I was like, hey, manze, I was able to approach them because I was able to do it. So there was that fear. Lakini wakati ilifika sasa after kupitia all those challenges na nikagatha strength sasa wakati alienda nakuru ndio nikaweza sasa kuanza kufunguka roho and then now in the uh, baadaye sasa tukaweza kukutana uh, kwa hoteli mahali nika propose nikamwambia nampenda and then after that sasa ikakuwa ya kwamba sasa wacha tuinge kwa stories za kupanga wedding here and there okay. yeah mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, when we when when uh, when we met, when all he was he, before he proposed, yeah. On the, uh, when he called me, actually, my my my, my, my uh, I was really nervous, and I was feeling that nice feeling now, Kondani. You know, there's <laughs> that feeling, and uh, let me say uh, because I went to Nakuru, there uh, there was a dowry for my cousin, so I had gone to attend. Mm -hmm. So we were somewhere sitting my cousins all my cousins they noticed mm. that phone call has to do with a man <laughs> the way you have reacted and i was and i was like i didn't want them to know anything so i just i just I ignored them and i went out to take my phone call but i'm telling you i was really excited the excitement excitement in me but I couldn't, those days, you couldn't tell a man, immediately he asked you, at he, you want, uh, I, I really love you, at you, you tell him back, yes, I love you to know. Those days used to wait like for a week. I don't know why, I don't know why it's because of those days, I don't know, but I had to wait 
just to tell him I'll come to give you my answer like after a week. But that time I was feeling like God, if you, I wish you knew how I feel about you. I am so much in love with you. I can't explain it the way I'm feeling. I'm head over heels. I, I didn't even sleep that night. I was just thinking about him and that call and that that voice. Uh, it was it was awesome, an awesome and a nice feeling of somebody being in love. Uh, the proposal part to me, I think uh, it was uh, okay. I was a bit uh, uh, nervous. Uh, I just told her that uh, let's meet uh, in a certain hotel, and then uh, we just uh, found a very nice place. It was quiet. Then uh, we started talking. Uh, she asked uh, what what were, what were my intentions. Uh, what do you want us to do? Then uh, after now elaborating that I love her, I want her to be my wife, what a view. Uh, I just uh, removed the ring and then I put it on, on her finger and then I really felt very nice. Uh, basically before the ring, uh, she had to accept. You know, uh, sometimes you can go to a lady to propose and then akwambie, hey, jama. Omba sana. <laughs> eh? I'm, I'm already hooked up <laughs> to somebody else. So he's a melipa fair. Umengara, umetafutata pesa nini, unapata, anakuvunja moyo. But me, I thank God after ni memueleza my intention. Basically, uh, during that moment, unamuambia that uh, nakupenda, nataka kukuoa. And then we also spoke about the kids that we want to have. And then badai, nikam nikamvisha pete ikakuwa kitu kizuri eh hiyo usiku i think iliweza kabisa <laughs> eh nilikuwa nasikia kitu mzuri ndani ya moyo at least yani unafikiri anga sasa already ni kama umeoa mm. eh lakini after that kuna pia milima na mabonde za kupanda mm. yes so it was a very nice day na siwezi sahau hiyo siku yeah <laughs> <laughs> He, he, as, as he was calling me, I knew there's something, definitely. And I knew, even, even when we meet up, I'll definitely tell him, yes. I knew this, this was already, God had already, God had already confirmed. Mm -hmm. He had already opened my eyes. And uh, I knew this, this, this was the right, the right, uh, the right man for me, meant for me. So I, we, we dated now after, afterwards. We were in courtship for about, uh, let's say, nine months. Yeah, nine months. We, mm -hmm. He proposed in January, I think early January. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got married in November. Mm -hmm. no, no, is it? Yeah, November. November tw 2014. Yes. Is it 2014? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got married in November. Yeah, uh, 209. Sorry, 209, I'm sorry. 209. Not 2014, mm -hmm. 209. Mm -hmm. So that November is one, 14. that is exactly mm -hmm. one year. Mm -hmm. So from 208 and I think uh, going all the way to 2009, mm -hmm. that was enough time for us to, to date in courtship and uh, to plan our wedding according to now uh, the grace of God. So I, I knew, I knew when, when we were meeting, mm -hmm. definitely, he proposed. I knew, I knew Kabisa because he was so confident while we were speaking over the phone. He knew mm -hmm. you know, just, there's a way to a guy you know this uh this 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 one is just joking. But I know I mean yeah box yango. Nile kuficha too white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah, introduction part of it, uh, as per now the church procedure, mm. uh, when now the lady has accepted that uh, uh, the two of you have to marry, uh, now the, the tricky part or maybe the difficult part or the challenging part was now going to the dad uh, who was our bishop. So I was like now, Niki mwambia he, manze unajua ni meno kidota wako. Hata <laughs> <Ata> leta shida. 
Like aliambia eh hey, ulikuja hapa kanisa <laughs> kuchukua my daughter na sikuabudu. Mm. Wa. But sasa hiyo siku nikajijaza ilikuwa now after after the, the evening services uh, the evening service it was on a Tuesday I remember sasa nikamwambia now bishop uh, nataka kukuona uh, kaniambia karibu kwa ofisi uh, now sasa of course my wife lazima tungeenda na e ndio asikie vile na karangwa <laughs> but i thank god siku karangwa nilimwambia nimepata mtu na siku mwambia directly that uh, ni dota wako but now after kuniambia kwa wapi nikamwambia now ndio huyu and uh, to my surprise alifurahia sana mm-hmm. so after now that uh, ikakuwa sasa tuweze kwenda sasa kwao uh, ili ni introduce now my parents uh, na pia wote wawili wajuane so basically Uh, there is something that is called kohada ibiki kohada ibiki yeah i didn't say she is from central mm. na mimi ni from western so lazima ningeenda kohada ibiki mm-hmm. uh, we gave uh, some amount and then there was some food there and then sasa the second time we went uh, there was an now an amount which we gave out uh, now the aunties came Uh, the relatives for, from their side and uh, from our side and then we discussed about uh, money which we are supposed to pay and then by the grace of god it was announced in the church and then uh, finally sasa the day came yeah mm. uh, let me add on to what you were saying about uh, mm. now them coming to our place mm. uh, there's something that happened and i knew really god is in this thing mm. Uh, they came uh, the introduction people don't come the, the kohada they get you don't you don't go many people like yes, you yes. just go just mm. a few people from your mm. family mm. so his aunt happened to know my dad and my dad happened to know his aunt they used to work together mm. so when they they just entered my dad was like what are you his aunt <laughs> No how can I how can I ask for for money when you're here because now they know each other they we were very good friends they used to work together mm-hmm. so I knew God is in this thing and uh, they said ah this is my very good friend and he also said the same same thing this is this was my very good friend when we were working together so things became easy and uh, they, because they were familiar so it wasn't so hard so he got to propose he got to now plant that idege as the kikuyu say and then he 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 comes from western province and i am from uh, central province so you see them from that side and me from this side but you see love no 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 boundaries yeah mm-hmm. because whenever and again when god connects you to someone mm-hmm. it doesn't matter who where he comes from mm-hmm. so it didn't matter and again god is still confirming by bringing somebody they used to work together with mm-hmm. and the rest is history Yeah, now after proposing uh, tumeenda kanisani uh, tumepatiwa blessings uh, with the bishop of course now uh, uh, something that uh, I've just remembered when uh, when now uh, the church knew that uh, nime wacha niseme partially nime win Esther kumbe now there were some people walikuwa pia wana wana nimezea mate na pia wana mmezea mate mm-hmm. <laughs> so basically lazima tunge fight pia maheta so hiyo ilikuwa challenge eh, kuna wale walisikia nisha nisha propose ya Esther so sasa hizo ndio wakaanza kuwa aggressive ndio sasa hata hiyo time eh, mtu anasema eh hata mimi nilikuwa 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 hapa unaona so tuka develop uh, haters but i thank god uh, we were focused Uh, so ndio tufike day ya wedding uh, kwanza kukachini uh, look for friends 
uh, ili tuanze kupanga sasa story za harusi uh, now hiyo time challenge kubwa inakuanga kama now you'll, you'll get the money uh, ya kuhakikisha now uh, the tents are there uh, the food the venue at least watu wakitoka ocha nini waone kila kitu iko sawa so stress kubwa sana naona before now the wedding day is now the money part of it cuz uh, basically nobody wako na hiyo do and sometimes when you sit uh, you do a budget people think uh, maybe unaweza fanya tu kitu simple but ukikaa uweke kila kitu chini utajua kwamba pesa zinahitajika so na hiyo ndio inafanyanga a lot of guys waogope kunini waogope kuoa kwa sababu mtu akif, akienda kwa tv aone wedding show anaona magari anaona helicopter eh anaona maybe wameenda honeymoon place expensive unaona anafikiria he manze ido yote eh nitatoa wapi na maybe hata akiangalia hata ana kama address account mm-hmm. jamaa ameso yes. amesota but now sisi since we had faith tukajua kwamba hata kama hiyo pesa uh, ita itagarimu dongapi uh, god atenda ku provide so i thank god for this uh, beautiful lady aliweza pia kuni support aliweza kupata pesa from uh, marafiki zake na mimi pia as a man lazima pia ningejikaza eh, ni TBD niongeleshe mabeste alafu zile pesa nilikuwa nazo eh, tukakaa chini but now uh, sasa unapata hata kama watu wako kwa nini watu wanawapangia harusi you also need uh, kukimbia kujua nguo zitatoka wapi tent zitatoka wapi eh, food itatoka wapi so kuna ile part eh, inakuchanganya na pia unakuwa exhausted because lazima pia uhakikishe watu wakikuja wanapata the best i think pia she'll take us uh, through yeah, I, uh, I, apo. i remember we we budgeted for 200000 mm. and I, I, we were talking and we were like eh, will we make it we said but we are putting god first mm. and god is going to take us through and mm. we will make it mm. by the help of god we are going to make it so we we started We started off with it took a kwana committee as usual the way you you plan with, with a committee and they were it was very promising people pledge i think 80000 yeah mm-hmm. but now when the reality came it was 40 <laughs> it 40. was 40 mm-hmm. 40000 yeah mm-hmm. when the reality ki- came now we were left like on our own i don't know what happened sometimes uh, the devil fights with uh, marriages mm-hmm. even before you uh, you get married mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know what happened I, they just uh, left us eh? we were just there on our own but we were not on our own we had God mm. and we had very supportive parents who were helping us so by the grace of God where I was working I was able to gather some money him where he was working he was able to gather some money and then we did a pre-wedding those those days we were we, we were doing pre-weddings yeah a pre-wedding <laughs> So we called people and that time it the pre-wedding it brought like 100k 100,000 those days it was a lot of money mm-hmm. 100,000 it was a lot of money and i remember one time god told me uh, we need to come together if we want 200,000 we plant a seed of 2,000 mm-hmm. in church mm-hmm. so he he gave me he, he came we, we put one he came he gave 1000 and i gave 1000 mm-hmm. in total is 2000 and we planted in church mm-hmm. and our bishop i remember saying you will get even more than this mm-hmm. and let me assure you indeed god god is a rewarder of them that diligently serve him and he doesn't uh, there's never a time god can shame you that's we got more than that 200 and something 220000 we got that for our wedding mm-hmm. and i'm telling you it was awesome everything was in place the food vendors and funny enough the guy who was making a, who, who was in catering happened the school together with him mm-hmm. so when we went there to tell him now about uh, our wedding he was like i know this guy i know regal <laughs> he was like eh? so we were he even did for us a good quotation because of knowing him mm-hmm. and I'm telling you it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Food vendors it was okay, flowers. Mm-hmm. 
it was awesome. The tents were okay. Mm -hmm. Everything, the, the the dresses, everything. We made sure everybody, every service provider, we paid until to the last coin. Mm -hmm. We didn't have debts. Mm -hmm. So we really thank God because of, of, of helping us to plan that mm -hmm. marriage, despite the committee having have left us. Mm -hmm. uh, we had God on our side. Because I remember he, he was supposed to come and have a haircut. One of my good friends, the best barber in town, I used to call him that. Imagine he couldn't do that because he had gone to check on the, on the tents. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine eh? the hassle running up and down. That Friday, I remember I was going, I, I, I was going for my, my hairdo late in the evening. Mm. Eh? So such things, uh, they were a bit challenging for us. Like, mm -hmm. you don't have somebody who cool tell you, I, I have your back on this, you just go and relax. So you are the ones like we are running up and down mm -hmm. together with our parents. Mm -hmm. But all in all, we saw God. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the most memorable moment in our wedding is when we were taking our vows together. Mm -hmm. When we were exchanging vows, Those, that, that time was so memorable to me. Mm -hmm. Very mo memorable. Mm -hmm. Our time, you are no, you, you never used to be told you, you may kiss your bride mm -hmm. so it was <laughs> it was just but i wanted to do it but <laughs> nikakumbuka i mean the multitude of bishops <laughs> i remember <laughs> okay the only thing that i was supposed to do ni kuhag so wakati nilikuwa naenda kumhug nikajaribu kupitisha mdomo <laughs> yeah. So that is how it was. Yeah. And now, sasa after after now the marriage, uh, the, the the wedding, to kind at least honeymoon, uh, Mombasa, ukopia to Lijibamba, uh, sasa kurudi. Now after like uh, eight or nine months, even to mefanya arusi. Now people are expecting at least uh, her tummy yanze kutoka mm. so mwaka imeisha unaona mm. atujapata mtoi tukaingia in another year atujapata mtoi so stress ikaingia so we were like now what will happen eh? so that has been uh, that was the most challenging uh, part mm. uh, of our marriage especially now after we did the holy wedding now people were expecting that sasa now that we mfanya harusi mm -hmm. mtoi atakuja mm -hmm. so tulipitia stress sana uh, kupata mtoi but i thank god after two and a half years uh, kuvumilia kuchekwa eh, watu kusema hey hawa alifanya harusi mapema hawana mtoto mm -hmm. nona but god came through and uh, even after getting now our first daughter our first born mimi i was just comfortable nilikuwa nafikiria hey Mungu ile stress nimepitia. Huyu ukisema tunafunga ni sawa. So ndio God anito hiyo doubt. Ah yeah. uh, nika mtoi now the second born akakuja mm -hmm. and we thank God at least Mungu ametumixia poa ni kijana na demo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so no na hiyo ilikuwa combination poa sana. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah, I think God mm. he there's something he missed. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I have a very funny sister. So because we were not told to kiss the bride, he told <laughs> us he told us as we are going for our evening party. Mm. Now because we are missing that part, you have mm. to do it. <laughs> mm. And I think we did yeah, it. Yeah, we did it. Yes. And I'm telling you it was a very good experience. You know, mm. our days, even mm. holding hands, mm. it was not allowed. Mm. Kissing, mm -hmm. hugging each mm. other, it mm. was not allowed. Mm. So now comes this time that uh, you have that legal right to do it. Mm -hmm. You have that legal right to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> my sister initiated it and we, we kissed each other and it was mm -hmm. a very nice experience. Yeah. Let me say, out of this world. Eh? Yeah. Because you know you're not, you're not hiding under mm -hmm. the bush. Mm -hmm. You're not hiding somewhere. Mm -hmm. it is, it is, it is, you're permitted to do it. Yeah. So it was awesome. So yeah. as he has shared uh, mm -hmm. our journey, mm -hmm. our journey now, our marriage journey mm -hmm. it has been awesome mm -hmm. it has not been easy mm -hmm. we've been through thick and thin yeah. there's those low moments in our life mm -hmm. and there, there are those high moments also in our life mm -hmm. so sometimes uh, you might find uh, there's a time uh, i used I w he was not working and i was working mm -hmm. so 
I did there's never a time I looked down at him. Mm -hmm simply because I'm working and he's not working. Mm -hmm. Those were the lowest moments in our lives. But mm -hmm. I never used to show people that mm -hmm. uh, he's not working, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking down at him, no. In fact, that time I really supported him and uh, I was proud of doing that because he's mm -hmm. part of me now. Mm -hmm. And we were so transparent mm -hmm. till today. Mm -hmm. Transparency in marriage is very good, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to money matters. Mm -hmm. Because when you go outside, outside there and you hide money, or you, you buy a kaplot na uko and una feature, mm -hmm. there's something, you're not open to each other. And mm -hmm. those things zina kujanga zina, mm -hmm. zina lipuka. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not good. Mm -hmm. So, a time came now. Now him, he's working. And now me, I was not working. That time he showered me with love because he remembered this, this lady stood with me. Mm -hmm. That time he really, he really surprised me. He was, he was very loving, mm -hmm. very kind. Eh? You know, he's helping me even with the house chores and he's working, mm -hmm. you know. At that time, I think we had gotten our first, our, our second, our second child mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And he even took a paternity leave for 14 days. He's mm -hmm. there cooking, mm -hmm. going to look for these bones. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, Supu. Soup. So he was he yeah. was he was very loving and I really <laughs> treasure those moments eh? mm. when he was mm. I, he took care of me and mm. let me say that mm. he, he has been very good. Eh? Mm. So marriage it is rocky and it's also rosy mm. because there are sometimes there are low moments and there are high moments. Mm. Let nobody lie to you that, that it, it is very smooth. No. Mm. And those challenges come to build you. Mm -hmm. Because already your marriage is founded in the in the in the rock that is Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. so sometimes it something can come, maybe the, the jobless jobless,ness and again, kukosam total like the way I, I was not I was not I had I had a a, a, a certain condition mm -hmm. that was not per pertaining me to get allowing pregnant, me to get allowing me to get pregnant, mm -hmm. but let me say. Through the hand of God mm -hmm. and through His support, He was telling me, "Ata kama tutakosa mtoto, it's okay. I married you. Mm -hmm. You know when when a man stands with you and tells you that, mm -hmm. and it's you are like it is almost three years, two and a half is almost three years, and mm -hmm. you have no, there's no cry of a baby in that house, mm -hmm. and He's telling you that I will stand with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I married you, and I love you. Mm -hmm. If it kama mungu amiamuivo, what can we do? Mm -hmm. I really saw that." He, this this is genuine love eh? and you see now most of the people when they wanna fika hapo it's like uh, even somebody and say ah I, di I, di I, di I didn't marry to because I'm talking about him but I'm not gonna talk about him but I didn't even meet him I didn't even show up he showed he showed me with love Hajawai mm. we used to go for those gaina gaina nini sessions ya kwa kwa gaina mm -hmm. na he used to be with me mm -hmm. eh na hakuniatilia so mm -hmm. i thank god for those low moments he was always mm -hmm. build, encouraging me mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so it really mm -hmm. built me up yeah actually marriage works mm -hmm. yeah it is not a scam mm -hmm. yeah it really works mm -hmm. get the right person you mm -hmm. pray about it mm -hmm. it really works mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, the marriage uh, spark, uh, first of all, you need to understand that uh, the person you've uh, married, uh, she's not an angel, uh, she's somebody who is human. And then uh, in marriage, you really need to be somebody who forgives very quickly. And then you ensure that uh, uh, you keep on uh, loving one another and uh, you keep on supporting each other. Uh, you have to be together mm -hmm. uh, always. You have to ensure there are no secrets yeah. because uh, most marriages uh, they are being destroyed uh, when people have secrets. For instance, if I have money and uh, she doesn't have money, uh, we need to be transparent to each other. So basically what I'll, I'll say is that uh, those people that are struggling in marriage, basically uh, compatibility is very important. Uh, you need to ensure that uh, this person that uh, you, you intend to call uh, a wife or husband, you need to ensure you are compatible. Because when you, get, you, when you don't get it right, mm. 
eh, at the word go eh, hata kama mta mtaingia kwa hiyo harusi uh, itafika tu mahali ipatikane ya kwamba wewe ukufanya your job uh, vizuri mm. but basically the holy spirit is there mm. uh, is able to guide you uh, when you pray when you fast uh, holy spirit atakuelekeza kwa the right person now even if you made a mistake na maybe you can realize that uh, uh, huyu mtu sio ule ambao ulikuwa una, unamtaka uh, you see when you are married issues are divorce uh, for us uh, itabidi uombe Mungu sana because mm. now you have children uh, you have property mm. uh, the church wameona umefanya wedding mm. so you can just wake up useme mimi nakuacha because mm. ni really, realize you are not the right partner sasa hapo ndio kuongeza maombi na kuambia Mungu akusaidie na akupe the grace mm. but now ukiweza through the help of God uombe na upate mtu compatible na upate conviction from God ana ujua kwamba huyu mtu nampenda basically you have to marry somebody ukiamka asubuhi muangalie unaona bado ni ule ule <laughs> eh? kuna mtu unaweza mka asubuhi useme eh? kwani nilioa kitu gani unaona <laughs> Because at one point kuna ule atamka asubuhi angalie sura <laughs> kama ulitupambao <laughs> utakuwa tu na stress yeah. lakini kama ulifanya kitu poa utaendelea vipoa yeah. yeah yeah what 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 makes our marriage any spark yeah? mm-hmm. we, we 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 play together yes as, as husband as and wife despite hizo miaka zote we play together that's what makes mm. as in it makes us even younger mm. because kwa, kwa marriage si boring it's not boring mm-hmm. you need to to know that this 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 person is my lifetime partner so i can do anything with him yani i'm so free with him he knows when i'm low hata nikijificha aje atanembea na leo kuna kitu inakusumbua there's something that is disturbing you mm-hmm. so at least uh, when you make it more enjoyable you this is your lifetime partner usimuogope you can tell him anything you can do anything unaweza mche like him i can there's some fanya anything because ameshani ashali zoea eh anajua huyu huyu anakuanga hivyo he's she's bubbly so marriage si boring you keep it you keep the fire burning and also you put god first eh? and you pray god our side like our children i normally re- they normally say aki mimi mom stuck kutoka kwa hii nyumba nikiwa mkubwa you will get married one, once and you and you leave us ama hata uende maybe mahali mbali unafanya kazi because i love i love that yani they feel that warm kwa hiyo nyumba yeah both our children are like that they feel that warmth of our marriage and all honor and glory is unto god because he's the one who's taken us this far we cannot say it's us but it's him he's the author and finisher of everything and even of this marriage Uh, to all men who are out there uh, let me encourage you that uh, you don't have to to stay uh, a bachelor for like uh, 15 or even 20 years uh, fearing to get married uh, because marriage uh, is about uh, risking mm-hmm. and uh, allowing god to walk with you through that journey and uh, forgiveness is key in marriage uh, because uh, this person uh, you'll be with her especially in my case uh, for the longest uh, period ever until maybe Jesus Christ comes back or maybe when we are raptured mm. and uh, the, 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 there is a lot of imperfections in marriage mm-hmm. and uh, you need uh, the bible says that uh, we should dwell with our women with understanding mm-hmm. so basically when you enter into marriage uh pray that god god gives you the the spirit of understanding uh the spirit of discernment you actually know that uh if i speak this uh, my wife is going to get angry or maybe if i shout my children are going to be scared uh if maybe i don't handle uh, my relatives nicely uh maybe my wife won't feel nice so basically marriage requires a lot of wisdom and uh you have to to die to yourself eh? you don't have to be uh, right always the one who is calling shots 
uh, because now as the head you expected to make uh, decisions but sometimes when I have uh, an idea I have to consult with my wife I ask her is this the right way to approach it then I allow her uh, to, to I allow, I allow her to share her views. So when she shares her views, then I gauge, I weigh, and then uh, I ponder upon it, then I realize she's right. So it's not about uh, demonstrating that kwa sababu we ni kichwa, lazima kila kitu unasema iko right. Basically, miwa na, na mtumia kama kichungi. Eh, Niki come up with the raw idea, uh, anatumika kama kichungi, and then we save that idea and then we, we implement. So, wanaume msiogope ndoa, uh, msiogope ya kwamba uh, it is expensive, msiogope ya kwamba maybe ude matafika mahali ya badilike. Once you have prayed, mungu atakikisha ya kwamba uh, umepata the right person na mnaendelea alafu mnazeka pamoja. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I would love to say that uh, marriage is do work. Mm -hmm. With God, nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. So don't fear. They, like uh, you know, uh, Job said, "What has what I feared has come to me." Yeah. So whenever you fear about your husband being being unfaithful, mm -hmm. that thing will come to you. Mm -hmm. I want to thank God because uh, God has helped us for, for those 16 years we've been together. Mm -hmm. We've been faithful to one another, mm -hmm. uh, and until God comes, that is like a covenant we entered into God and into marriage. Mm -hmm together believing that uh, we are going to remain faithful until God comes so don't fear mm -hmm. because that thing that you're fearing it will come to you mm -hmm. do not fear just enter into marriage with a, with a, this understanding that mm -hmm. God is there and God is your is the rock of that marriage mm -hmm. and is your foundation and you're going to be pray, praying for your husband praying uh, whenever he wakes up be a praying wife. Even you can buy that book, Praying Woman. Yeah? Be a praying wife. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that even that marriage will work. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Sometimes, yeah, we argue. But we sit down together and we say, what happened? I won't do kwa nashida. Apana niwewe. And we solve it mm -hmm. by God's grace. Because eh, uh, man, man, lazima mukosane. So that you, you, ndiyo mpatane tena. Na mpenane hata zaidi. Kosa wakati mnakosana. Muki penana muna penana mnenda level ingine. Unasema, yes. oh, hmm. kumbe ilifanyika hivi ndiyo tuende Do another level. Penana. Yeah, iende level hmm. ingine. Because definitely mutagongana. Huu ni mtu, you've not grown, grown up together with him. Hmm. You've been brought up differently, ex, hmm. especially different cultures. Hmm. Ama kikuyu, he's a lawyer. Hmm. And you see, but still, there's that spark that God put between us. Eh? Beyond boundaries, eh? We love one another beyond our boundaries. Zata mutu wakikuja na uko inja seme, we ufaani na uyu tutakosana vibaya sana. Because I know he's my man and I'm his wife. Yeah, and I'm his woman. So don't worry. You just focus on God and pray. God will show you. And when he shows you that person, where to follow your heart na ufuate yonjia. The word of God says in Isaiah 30, 21 that uh, I will hear a voice saying, this is the way, walk in it. When you hear that voice, follow it and walk in that way and leave the rest to God. God bless you. My dear wife, the love of my life, I remember when I met you. Hmm? You have never changed. Mm -hmm. Your beauty your looks, your talk, and even your smell. They have never uh, made me to think that any other woman can come into our lives. My desire is that we may walk together in this lovely marriage. I may continue pleasing you, and you may continue pleasing me. Every morning when I wake up, my heart really glows for you. And it is my wish that this never ends. Yeah, my husband, uh, Regan, ever since I met you, I've never looked back. And I say even today, if I'm uh, asked, 
whether I, I want to choose somebody else, I wouldn't choose any other. Because mm -hmm. you are the one for me, mm -hmm. the father of my children. Mm -hmm. And I love you very much because mm -hmm. uh, you make me glow. Mm -hmm. Every time I wake up and I look at you, mm -hmm. I feel this. Indeed, God, you bless me with somebody. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm so much grateful to God for bringing you into my life. Mm -hmm. You've, you've been so loving, caring, and uh, understanding. Mm -hmm. huh? You know, sometimes you understand me more when m other people don't understand me. At mm -hmm. my weakest moments, you mm -hmm. really encourage me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really feel good. Uh, mm -hmm. And when you hold me, <laughs> I know that it is well. <laughs> so uh, may God keep us together mm -hmm. uh, until he comes and until mm -hmm. death do us part. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you're the one for me. I love mm. you, my baby. Mm -hmm. And that was our, and that was our love story. story.